I'm Ed Aiken, uh, Chief of the Rotorcraft and Powered Lift Branch at NASA Ames Research Center. Uh, my branch is responsible for the development of a, of a new research aircraft at Ames uh, known as the VSTOL Systems Research Aircraft, or VSRA. Uh, its whole purpose in, in being is to, uh, is to uh, demonstrate uh, Ames developed technology uh, in both the flight control and cockpit systems uh, for a, a new breed of advanced short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft. Uh, we're currently beginning a series of demonstration flights for both uh, visiting military and industry test pilots uh, to expose them to the technology being developed at Ames. Uh, specifically, the uh, flight control system uh, control modes and the head-up display formats that are being developed uh, to help extend 
the operational capability of this type of aircraft as well as to improve the safety of flight. Uh, what we have done is to implement a programmable fly-by-wire flight control system on the aircraft, on the VSRA, uh, together with a head-up display with a programmable set of symbology, which will allow us to uh, expose these visiting pilots to, this, to a wide um, spectrum of possibilities and control modes uh, that have been developed at Ames using the ground simulation facilities. Uh, the intention then is to uh, uh, perform evaluation flights, formal evaluation flights, using these visiting test pilots uh, and simulating a situation where they are making a, an approach and landing to a uh, small ship at sea uh, or to a confined area on land uh, in uh, degraded weather conditions, in poor weather conditions, poor visibility conditions, uh, and for the shipboard situation, a very high sea state. Uh, this is a, uh, is a particularly um, difficult area for this type of aircraft because as the aircraft, uh, as this short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft slows down, it depends more and more on the propulsion system uh, for its own stability and control and less and less on the aerodynamics of the, of the vehicle. Uh, the, the detailed design of the propulsion system is extremely important and the way it affects the pilot's ability to control the aircraft. Um, so we've developed systems that are appropriate for this type of aircraft and display formats which allow the pilot to have basically a status at a glance. When looking out the, looking out the windscreen at a, at a dark and stormy night, uh, he has uh, some symbology sitting in front of his eyes that will help him perform the task that we've defined. Um, we are... Uh, our primary role here at AIMS is to generate the design criteria for these integrated flight and propulsion control systems uh, for the short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft. And the technique that we use uh, to generate credible criteria is to use, uh, to employ flight validation of those, of those criteria, uh, specifically the, the formal evaluations in the VSTOL systems research aircraft. Uh, we intend to have pilots from uh, the Marine Corps, uh, major aerospace companies, and, uh, and also visiting pilots from the United Kingdom who fly the, who fly the Harrier. And that will be done uh, through the end of this calendar year, through December. Uh, and upon completion of that flight program, uh, a final report will be put together documenting uh, the results of the, f of the demonstration flights.